Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Rossinetti TV. It is Adamo back on the channel once again. Today I'll be reviewing Milan's fixture against Scandia, which ended 6-0. 6 to the Rossinetti. I mean, if you ask me, it's not too shabby Alonso. But, of course, the side will be gaining a lot of confidence from this game. Of course, it's only Scandia or whatever the name is, but... You know, it's still a big fixture and a lot of players got a lot of goals. Speaking of which, Andre Silva got two for himself. Antonelli got a goal. Fabio Borini got a goal himself. And the legend, the man, the myth, the god among men, Montolivo got two goals. Two. I mean, if you can see two goals to Ricardo Montolivo, you might as well just, you know, just file for bankruptcy, you know, deactivate as a club. Is that a thing? Can you do that? Because if you can, it's it's definitely something that this club should be considering. I mean, it's it's two goals from Montolivo. The back pass king. But anyways, I mean, I can't complain. I cannot complain. It's good to see Montolivo get on the score sheet. The X captain I hope this doesn't mean that he's going to be getting much more time than Locatelli as Bilia is injured. I hope this is just a thing that, you know, we're in Europa League and of course, you know, you got players like Borini starting and hopefully this means that a player like Montolivo will not be getting more minutes just because he scored two goals. I mean, he is the back pass merchant. So can we really give him extra playing time? I don't think so. And I don't think we should. I don't think you guys will think so either because I know a lot of you are Locatelli fans and if Bilia is out injured, we want him replacing him in the Regista role. But... As I said, a very convincing win from Milan today. You couldn't ask for anything else than a 6-0 win. Now, will they be able to win in their next fixture against the club? The Macedonian legends. I mean, we're going to have to wait and see. You know, anybody can come back from 6-0. I mean, it's not too much. You know, Macedonian League is uh, you know up there as one of the greats. You know, you got the Premier League, Liga, you know, Bundesliga, Serie A, and then you got the Macedonian League just chilling. Just chilling up there. You know, it's pretty tight. With uh, the Liga Santander, as they call the Spanish League. But anyways, as I said, it was a great picture for me. Now, let me know down below who you think the man of the match was. You got to give it to Montolivo, if you ask me. I mean, it's a beautiful performance from a beautiful man. But the next picture, I guess, Scandia will be August 24th at 2.45 Eastern Standard Time. What am I even saying? But yes, 2.45 Eastern Standard Time against their next fixture to finalize and cementing Milan's qualification to the Europa League. Hopefully, we can get the job done. I'm sure we'll be able to. And maybe we should be starting some other players. Should we go for a full XI? Just give everybody some nice fitness. Should we be going for somebody else? Should we be going maybe the same sort of team? Or maybe even bring up some Primavera players that I'm sure Gattuso would like to see get their shot against a professional team in Scandia. We're going to have to wait and see for that. But leave down below who you specifically want to start and who your man of the match is. I will see you guys on August 24th for the preview and review of the next fixture and all the other news going on in between. For Milan, I will definitely be delivering to you guys. So if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe for more content on Rostin TV. We'll have some updates for you guys about the situation going on with the channel. I'll be giving you guys some new content as well as some new tight videos. So stay tuned for that. It has been Adamo from Rostin TV. And as always, peace out.